Good evening everyone, uh, welcome back, uh, nice to have you around again. I'm going to try to uh, show you three uh, cocktails tonight to make at home. Uh, we all love uh, cocktails, uh, we go to bars and pay a lot and lots of money to have cocktails, so I'm going to try to show you how to make cocktails at home uh, without actually spending a fortune. So we're going to make uh, three classic cocktails, one with a gin, one with vodka and one with tequila. So first one, uh, we're going to go with the, uh, the gin, which is a uh, gin sair, okay? So, you need some equipment. Uh, not everyone can actually have a cocktail shaker. So if you don't actually have a cocktail shaker, like this one, you can use a, a pint glass and another small glass to go on the top of the pint glass to use it as a shaker. Otherwise, cocktail shaker is the best way. So, for this uh, sour gin, we're going to actually gin sour we're actually going to uh, put the ingredients together and we're going to do a dry shake, which is without ice to start with. So what you actually want, first of all, is a measure. So this measure uh, for cocktail is called Jigger. Uh, Jigger, you got uh, either two ounces, which is about just roughly just under 60 ml, or one ounce, which is under 30 ml. If you don't actually have a Jigger, you can actually use a shot glass like this one, it's actually make two ounces like this, um, so it's pretty cool as well. But you need to actually have the correct measurement because if you don't have the correct measurement in cocktails, um, you're not going to be able to actually make great cocktails. So you need to have fresh ingredient and the correct measurement. When you go into bar, you order a cocktail. The time after time that you go back to the bar, you order the same cocktail. A cocktail should always be made the same way, and that is why it makes a great cocktail because you follow measurement. So this is a jigger. So gin sour, okay. Uh, what we're gonna do here is actually adding the gin. We're gonna do egg white, sugar syrup, and we're going to use lemon juice. So the gin that I have in a decanter is actually a strong premium gin, over 40% ABV. You don't want any too uh, too low alcohol or too high, like a heavy strength of 57, because this will be too strong. But here, this one is 45%, uh, which will be great. So for that, I'm going to use two ounces, which is a double measure. Again, as I say, it's just under 60 ml. Put that into your shaker. So that's your gin. Lemon juice, you want three quarter other nouns so I've got my lemon juice from before and I just measure it just under the top about three quarter into the shaker simple syrup syrup uh, simple syrup it's very easy to make at home you basically make four hundred grams of sugar you make exactly a hundred ml of water hot water boiling water of the sugar uh, if you want to make more, you make 200 grams of sugar, 200 ml of hot water. And stir it, let it cool down, that's your simple sugar. So for that, you basically want three quarter as well. So measure it. That's three quarter. And finally, the egg white, which I measured earlier, you want half an ounce of egg white. Okay, now the egg white, people will actually be uh, worried about salmonella because it's raw egg. Now salmonella will actually uh, die after a couple of minutes with strong alcohol. So you have no risk of getting salmonella because the alcohol will kill it. So I have all my ingredients in my shaker. And what I'm going to perform here is the dry shake. So when you have your uh, shaker, you need to actually uh, shake it very vigorously for at least 10 seconds to 15 seconds, okay, and up and down until you actually get the froth of it. So the froth is there, and now I'm going to add the ice. Plus three cubes of ice will be sufficient. And 
another shake for this time 10 to 15 seconds. Don't be shy. Shake it, shake it. <laughs> right. So you have your cocktail that's been shaped for about 10 seconds. This is the glass you use, a rock glass. A rock glass is a whiskey glass. And you're going to eat, you're going to have it on the rock. So you put a couple of ice cubes inside. What you take as well is a strainer. So that will actually strain the cocktail with any ice that there is in the shaker. And then you will garnish it with a lemon peel. So this lemon peel has actually been dried uh, from uh, previous cocktails that I made. They're quite good to actually have for cocktails. So you put the lemon peel and you can actually as well put fresh lemon curls on it as well. So there you are, gin sour. So, the next one that we're going to uh, make together is going to be a, a very classic one, which is the uh, Cosmopolitan. The Cosmopolitan, as we know, um, is made out of vodka, primarily. So for this, we're going to need to actually have a, a coupe, a cocktail glass, which would present the cocktail uh, the best way. So here I'm going to use another cocktail shaker like this one. This time we're going to use ingredient which is the vodka. So the vodka you want one and a half ounces of vodka. So strong. That's one and a half. The vodka you can try to use here, uh, this one uh, is a Russian standard vodka and it's actually 40% ABV, but you can actually use uh, stronger vodkas if you want. You want some uh, triple sec. Triple sec is like a Cointreau, it's a liqueur. Um, Cointreau is stronger in alcohol than triple sec. Um, so if you can't actually get triple sec, get some Cointreau, it will be actually a stronger cocktail. Uh, triple sec is actually used in lots and lots of cocktails. Uh, so if you can get your hands on triple sec, get some. You can buy it from Amazon, right? Very pretty good. A very, very versatile as well of things you can actually do. So for that, you want half an ounce of triple sec. It's half an ounce. Cranberry juice. Good ordinary cranberry juice. If you can actually have it. Uh, from uh, fresh, uh, it's wonderful, otherwise ocean cranberry uh, is actually a very good one. So for that you actually want one ounce of cranberry. And finally you want some lime juice. So for that you want half an ounce of lime juice. Ice in the shaker. You love to shake it very, very well on this one, longer than the uh, gin sour, because you want to actually get a lot of ice melting, all right? Melted ice in your cocktail. So don't be shy again. You feel when your fingers are starting to ice. It's when your cocktail is ready. Okay. Again, your strainer. Straight into your cocktail glass. This time you want on the range. You can actually put on the range in it. I quite like just to leave it on the side like this. 
um, or you could actually put a slice of lime if you want it. I do a, an orange like uh, citrus sort of a ring, dried ring like I've done with the ginseng because it actually presents well and it's got more flavors as well. So this is your cosmopolitan. So last one we're going to be doing is the famous margarita. Now margarita has been done all over the world, um, very popular. You can actually use a different type of uh, tequila. I'm going to show you two different types of tequila. You've got a blanco tequila, which is a younger tequila, about two months. Um, can drink, you can drink very neat if you want. It's fresher, greener, okay. And you've got the Reposado, which is an aged tequila. This one will give you a smoother test, um, final test in the margarita. So for the purpose of the exercise today, we're going to be using the Blanco. Tequila always need to be done with a glass, a cocktail glass if possible, and to actually have um, either salt, if you want sour, around the rim of the glass, or sugar if you want it uh, sweet. Uh, today we're going to do it sour uh, with the salt. So the salt you should be using, first of all, shouldn't be table salt. Table salt is actually not good at all for margarita. You should use either a sea salt or a kosher salt, which is the best one that you can actually use. Today I'm going to be using a salt that is actually quite light in a way because um, it's got a lemon and chili flavor as well in the salt, so pretty good. So for that, we need to do our glass rim with salt to prepare it. So the way you do it is that you take a wedge of lime, and what you want is to actually get the outer rim of the glass um, soaked in the lime, just the outside, like so. And you don't really want to have any lime to drop inside the glass and you don't want any salt either because the last thing you want is to actually have salt falling inside your margarita when you're drinking. On the outside, yes, when you actually take it to your lips, but not on the inside. So you take your plate with your salt and you will rotate your glass like so. So that all salt is actually covering the outer rim of your glass. All right, okay, like so. So your glass has been done with the salt, and now you're going to prepare your uh, margarita. So here I've got a fancy uh, cocktail shaker, uh, something that I bought when. Um, when I went to America, pretty good. They're actually quite good in a way because uh, they screw very well. They're a good party trick as well. Uh, if you want something like this at the table when you're with friends um, and you're eating something Mexican and you're drinking tequila. So I'm going to put ice cubes again uh, in the shaker. So three to four ice cubes, very important to actually have. And again, as I said, we're going to use a Blanco. So very simple on the measurements here because it's always two parts of tequila, one part of lime juice and one part of triple sec. Two, one, one. Okay. So two. Okay. Lime juice. One. Now lime juice can actually good to actually uh, 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 do your own lime juice, squeeze your own limes as well, but you can actually as well buy some lime juice as well online that's already been uh, squeezed, but no processed, uh, properly fresh lime juice if you want to make a uh, lot of uh, cocktails in one week or, uh, or more. Um, so, triple sec, again, one, So two, one, one. Now I've got 
all my ingredients in it. Make sure I squeeze and tighten the shaker and then start to shake. So this one, because there's already a strainer in it, I don't need to use my usual strainer, I can actually use it like that. So try to pour into the glass and not on the rim of the glass, okay? Very important so you don't get in contact with the salt, which you shouldn't anyway because the salt is on the rim, outer rim of the glass. Now your garnish on that. I like to put a slice of, of a lime like so on a stick so that you can actually squeeze it as well, bite it and get the lime juice as well when you're actually drinking it. So this is what we'll actually normally do, just like this resting on the glass. So there you are, you have a margarita, you have a cosmopolitan, and uh, the first one that we've made, which is the Jean Sam. Three classic cocktails. Jean, tequila, vodka. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, please ask me. And next time I'll come back, we will make three other cocktails with different alcohol. Enjoy, stay safe, see you soon. Bye.